Yo, what is good friends, back with another live after I think 7 or 8 days of no uploads uh, using a team that my man Ultra Balls made today with Choice Bandit Bulu um, Zone supports it, it traps um, Scissor, Salastila, Ferrothon, though Superpower kills Ferrothon anyway and there is the option to I think run Megahone over Superpower um, since Magnezone already traps the monster that you need Superpower for we will go into our Bulu here and he is a trapping variant, so now we are trapped and we have to go for Bandit Edge. Because um, Parish Song runs Sap Sipper, which means if I go for Horn Leech, I'm trapped completely and I'm dead. But now I can at least force him out as long as I hit my Stone Edge. Though, no, actually, no. I think he traps me, yeah. Because of Terrain and Protect, he's able to trap me. So, um, basically, that was a misplay on my end, I guess. Though, no, 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 he cannot. Well, he traps me, he goes into Zygarde here, I guess. But at least I weakened the Azul. But yeah, I, still ar I already played that wrong at the start. Amazing. Um, haven't been playing too much month. I just let it up this all the other day. We got a Scarf Katana for speed control. Sub Magnezone with Stelium Z. Um, can be really cool if you sub up on the Ferrothorn before they leech CT. Like if you're coming on a spike or on rocks. Or if you get it in on a double. Because then sometimes you can kill another one Mon with the Stelium Z. Um, in this match... I need to get rocks up for tornadoes and my scarf katana can clean late game. Uh, the team is kind of annoyed by Bo Zygarde actually and my Buddha already got trapped so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna deal with the Zygarde for now. I think I just wanna go Kartana and click knockoff. Do I click? No, I think I'll just click smart strike. Um. I don't know why he's saying that. I did not ask you for that, but sure. Um, so yeah, that does a lot, and yeah, we just click Smart Strike versus his team. Not like he can do much about this. So weakening Azo is not even that bad, I guess. Though um, this is a matchup where Bulu could have done a lot. When I tested the team, I got matchups where Bulu did nothing because the guy had like Tangros, Jirachi. Like, how many more Bulu checks do you want? Um, because I think Bandits Edge kills Max HP Torn. I did not run the Kalk, but I assume it does. And yeah, if I'm him, I would potentially double here or Flurken, but I guess we'll just go Gastro anyway. I cannot stay in because my Kartana literally wins that game if I play it right. So I'm expecting the Eclo Fable to come out, so we're gonna go back into Kartana here. He goes Azu, and we can just click Smart Strike again. He's gonna protect to get some health back, but he does not have a switch in. Tornadoes obviously can come out, but um, it will be 2 KO, though the helmet is annoying. But like yeah, he does not have a switch in so he kinda has to pick a fodder here, he might just sack Azu as he does just do that. And now not sure how he wants to revenge me. I guess Torn might be able to live. Gonna run a cult if Torn lives, otherwise Kartana might just sweep him. Uh, so Tornado's max HP. Oh when I was testing out the team before I started the recording, I faced Zard Y and Zard Y destroys this team. As you guys can see. And I gotta play wrong pretty much. Because I'm on low ladder, I thought Oh, my opponent will make the bad play, but he made the good play. So yeah, did not give him enough credit. Smart Strike is a roll, um, but it's not worth it because it's in his favor. If I get the roll, I, f I literally just win with card, I think. Though, no, unless Zyga lives a hit, but Zyga doesn't have a plus to hit. Um, but yeah, it's not worth it, so I'll just go out into my... I go out into my own Torn. I could also go Gastrodon, but we'll just go Torn here. And hopefully no burn. Cool. Um, this has taunt, which also supports. Um, it's good versus the Toxapex matchup, is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully we lose the speeder here and get momentum. Oh, he switches him and get momentum. Cool. Taunt helps to keep um, Toxapex from. They're always having T spikes up and um, from clicking Toxic. Now um, I think this is a Solvest Magiana. So what I could do is I could just go for my Steel Z and bop him. Though that would let in the Zygarde afterwards. Hmm. And Zygarde is a huge problem for this team because um, I lost my Bulu. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. Can Mega T have a plus one arrows is the question. It probably does because uh, I know Padlop sometimes uses Mega T tar. And I can live Zygarde hits. <laughs> Pretty sure the would live a plus one hit, so I guess I have to keep it half at full. Um, expecting him to go Clef or Torn here. Uh, so 
I guess I can double into my Magna Zone. But yeah, maybe I should have just hard. I think I should have just gone hard into Magna Zone. Not sure why I did played it the way I did. Uh, we will now. I really want to keep the Z for the for the Zygarde. Um, but yeah, we want to weaken them again or maybe I brought him in range of Kartana anyway with a with a raw attack. So that could have been a huge mistake. So what we'll do here is. I think we just spam Flash Ken. We kind of need this for Clef, but like, I just cannot let him set up. The thing is, this might not break this up. It does break this up. Good. Amazing. Um, I guess we'll go Torn here, predicting him to maybe uh, just attack exactly. Though, yeah, we don't have a switch. He doesn't mega yet, otherwise, I could maybe U turn into it. Um, no, no, we could not anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess we will just. Sack Magnezone if we have to. Now we could go into card. Tornado's just region back to full, which means it lives a plus one hit. So let's not go card. Let's just go to this and click T Bolt. Uh, I could have subbed in case he doesn't have a move to break the sub, but yeah. So we can now go into our Torn. Uh, our Gastro, I mean. Um, hopefully, he's not Energy Ball. Usually, when I use Gastro, I always face Energy Ball Alakazam. These people are so good at counter teaming me. We will scout for energy ball by pivoting into tornadoes, which also kind of covers the clef because I can taunt the clef, preventing it from calm mining up or going for rocks. Um, yeah. And we will U turn again on the torn, though I kind of should have just hurricane. He did not have a good switch in for hurricane anymore, so that's a mis there's a misplay on my end. But yeah, it's, o it's okay. Um, we could have, I guess, stayed in with Gastrodon potentially. Um, yeah, we'll just hurricane now, which is what I should have done last turn, uh, turn, the turn where you turn out, as we get a dodge, uh, and he dodges as well, nice useless turn right there. Uh, the team is gonna be in the description as always, if you guys wanna check it out yourself. Uh, let me check smoke tools, there's smoke on snake draft finals going on at the moment, hopefully, um, you guys will get that, um, like, what's it called? I hope I can get that up earlier to you guys. Like, I know I've been slacking a bit, um, have not been feeling mons too much. Um, I don't know, Sun and Moon is getting kind of boring. Um, everyone has been crying about Sun and Moon, I've always been that dude who is like, no, I still like it, I still like Pokemon, and I obviously still like it. But we need something new, um, yeah, we definitely need something new. For example, um, yeah, I mean the, what's it called? He's gonna pass into Zygarde here. So check out what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna go into T-Tar on the Zygarde and click Ice Punch. Um, yeah, how did I do? How did I know? We could also go for Rocks, but I honestly cannot play around with the Zygarde. <laughs> I cannot afford to play around with the dra yeah, exactly potential Dragon and Zygarde. I knew it wasn't banned. As he just dies, cool. So the attack, attack investment coming into play as he just forfeits, cool. So this is account is now 22 and one. My only loss was to Zardwai, where I did not play optimal, but as you guys can see, the team is destroyed by Zardwai. As long as he hits Focus Blast on T-Tar, not much I can do about that. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, we need some new mons or we need some suspect tests. I don't know. Um, we might get a Zygarde suspect test. I think ABR has his eyes on Zygarde, but like, I'm still not, I'm still not sure if that's gonna happen. Uh, Bulu's actually good in this matchup. That's, okay, that's, Superpower still has a use, cause even though, um, Zone traps the mons that Superpower will hit, Heatron is still hit, get hit. Why can I not talk? Heatron is still get... Heatran still gets bopped by Superpower, right? So I did not think about that when I talked about it at the start of the video, I think. Uh, we will switch out into our Tita here. Um, Tita or Magnezone? I think Tita, because I want to scout for a Z move. Uh, though, looking at his team, <laughs> Z is probably on Grand Gera or Zar Tren. Uh, we will now get our rocks up here. If he earthquakes, it would hurt, but um, we could eat it up because of grassy terrain, and yeah, we would get some recovery back. Yeah, that's, so that was not maybe not the smartest, but I wanted to scout for Z Fly because in this match, Bulu can do shit. Like, it can actually Oko Toxa packs. If it's Spadaf packs, oh, he's physical. So if he's so Z Low Kick, he just kills me here. And since he didn't have a Z yet, he might have it on Gren. So what we do here is we go into our Tornadus, which scouts for the fight Z. 
We can taunt the incoming toxic packs and then you turn out the next turn. Uh, if he scalds here, he gets me, but I'm basically expecting toxic or toxic spikes this turn, so gotta taunt him as he gets a burn. So, yeah. That was not very nice of him, but now at least I can't get static parrot, so that's something. But yeah, red rocks up and this being burned, that's really annoying, and I can't really pivot around that for free. And he's helmet, okay. So we get good information which allows me to go Tapu Bulu and click Woodhammer. He can go Heatran if he wants to, but if he stays in he will get destroyed. Um, I'm pretty sure I might outspeed this because we do have a good amount of speed investment. And obviously we get weakened a lot, um, but I didn't really have another Mon to go out into that would get me much offensively. Uh, so I feel that Bulu was the play right there. And um, obviously I'm expecting something along the lines of Toxic or... Um, Oh, he magma stormed because I think it said I'm trapped. If he steals the trend, then he can obviously kill me here because he's pretty sure he's faster. Gets the trend first, confirming that he's faster. We will um, crunch because yeah, he is the Z move set. So that now I at least know that Gastrodon probably walls him because Steel Z doesn't run toxic. Um, but I wanted to scout for that before I walk into it. And yeah, now we know it's not grassy, obviously. Uh, so he's probably just gonna go like Pex. I don't know. We're just gonna fire off the off as he stays in. Um, thinking that he can live off quick because of the terrain. Not sure really. W I guess Gastron walled Heatron the entire game, but he still could have saved it as father. But to be fair, he didn't have a switch in for Gastron. But yeah, Gyarados is a huge problem. It is Mega Gyarados. And my Bulu is weakened. I think I have to go hard into Cartana and click Leaf Blade. Taunt Gyarados. Okay, so now he's gonna go Zap. I don't know if he's static yet, but it's ladder they always use static, so we're gonna double out into Gastrodon on the s pressure zap. Okay, pressure. So if I could have knocked off there, and I would have been fine, but you never know. So we're gonna click Toxic here, though. Let's click Off Power because we wanna hit the packs as he defogs. Okay, I'm really bad, I guess. <laughs> Let's click Toxic now. Man, I really thought he would go packs. As he does packs now, so I played that like completely wrong. But I really thought he would switch out into packs, which is the play that he made the next turn, and which is the play that makes sense. T spikes obviously annoy my Gastrodon, so I have to try to keep them off. But if he spams them, I'm in trouble pretty much. Um, so we're gonna U turn out here into our Gastrodon, anticipating a Scald. Because the taunt was really obvious the last turn. Um, I could technically just stay in because I'm at plus one. And maybe Toxic expecting the Gyarados to come out. But in case he does that, yeah. So we defog. He might just spam these spikes. Yeah, he spams them. Um, Basically, I could try to get my Bulu in. Uh, no, I don't. I can't really do that. Because... I would either risk getting burned or I would get hurt by the toxic spikes. But yeah, Tapu Bulu custom set. Um, Versus Gyarados. Mega. I want to know if I live a plus one crunch or a waterfall. Um, yeah, I do live those. The question is... I don't live an ice thing, basically, is what I'm trying to say. That's not a question, that's just what I'm saying. I still think I go Kartana. Like Leaf Blade. If he doesn't have ice thing, then... Bulu would have probably been the better play, unless I get flinched. Um, but oh, well, he's actually in range. Wow, <laughs> I wasn't sure if he's in range. I thought he would live it, and I pretty sure I could live a hit because Kartana has um, good natural defense. Only the Spidaf is bad, so yeah. Uh, actually, Crunch was a roll, but yeah, I needed a good roll to kill me. So that is cool that we get a victory. Let's look for another one. Music is still playing, but um, oh god, we get Zard, which is like the one one I don't want to face with this team. If it's Zard X, Tita can keep it in check. Um, if it's Zard Y, I'm screwed. So I'm gonna make a bad slash risky play turn one and go for U turn, anticipating him to either go for U turn, predicting my Gastron, or to double switch out, predicting my Gastron. Uh, really risky if he have, if he bolts, which is how T bolts here. Um, but I feel like I kind of have to play risky. He's slow Tapu Coco. Is he Grass Knot? Uh, that's also another thing I have to consider. So he's slow choice banned because that did so much. Um, this is not a set, but I got destroyed by it. So what can I say? <laughs> Good God, I got destroyed. 
that did so much. Um, yeah, I like Bandit Brave, but it's not even that bad because it can bob Tapu Bulu. Um, yeah, and I pretty much see myself forced to go to Tita. Though he's probably Zad Y since he went into this. So if you focus plus predicting this, I'm screwed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, even Solar Beam because he changes the weather. I'm completely. <laughs> I'm so. Like, okay, okay. You guys can say I should have gone to Torn. It was obvious that he was Zard Y. Uh, because you brought in on Gastron, Zard X, you would not do that. But, like, if he was Zard X. My only play is Titar, and to Zard Y, I don't have switch ins either, so, like. Okay, I could have pivoted into Torn on the Solar Beam. But then he can focus blast the next turn, predicting me to pivot into Tita. So, like, Zard Y is just the one one that destroys this team, honestly. Um. Thing is, he has to hit a focus blast here, and if he doesn't know that, I will take advantage of that, because. Oh, he has Earthquake. Okay, so I should have made the pivot into Torn that I wanted to make, but I'm bad, so I didn't. <laughs> God, like, I just hate facing that Y with this team, and I always get, like, the plays wrong when I face it, too. Like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, honestly, this guy has uh, a really good matchup against me, and... Yes, I obviously could have played that different. Um, but yeah, if I go Torn on the Zard, um, let's say I go Torn on the Solar Beam, then he, the next turn I U-turn into Tita, and he just fi flamethrowers into that, and then I don't even have Pursuit to punish him switching out, um, so I guess I would have to bank on him going for Focus Blast and missing, so I can edge him, but yeah, this is pretty much rough. I'm gonna now scout for him having, uh, the move, uh, Power Whip. Yeah, Zard comes back out, and I'm pretty much just gonna go for the Confusion. I don't have a counter for Zard. A uh, really bad play of him going hard into Zard. Cause what if I Toxic that turn? So he gets rewarded, slash... Like, he risks the Mon that literally 6 O's, And he doesn't hurt himself. Um... And yeah, I figured he might switch out. But yeah, I should not be talking. Like, he got me. I got the Tita play wrong. Not much I can say. We will now throw out the Toxic. Do we? I don't know. I just feel like if he has Draco... Draco might bring me in range of his next attack. Okay, we're gonna Toxic. Mm, I really wanna Toxic again for eating Zard. But he has no reason to go to it. He goes Lele. Okay, he goes Lele. If he's Scarf Lele, he bobs me right here. Um, Torn is still good because it's so fast. So we're going to switch into zone. So he goes Gudra. Um, the thing is, pretty sure this might not die to Flash Can. Um, I did not type in custom set, but this is pretty much the same set. Why does Gudra not have a Salt Vest set on the Kalk? In the Kalk, however you say it. Nice bad English coming into play. Uh, assault Vest. I don't know his EVs. I'm just gonna put max HP for now. Flash Cannon does not... does kill him. Um... So the thing is he goes into Zard after and he bobs me, so... That's not... that's not... okay. So he goes for that. And... Knockoff... Oh, uh, knockoff kills from 44. It doesn't kill from 50, right? So... From... Kartana. So we hope I can hit this hurricane because then I'm out of range from a flamethrower, which is amazing. He's probably gonna go Zard and try to roost, or he's gonna go Coco. Um, yeah, he goes Coco. He's a slow Coco. Is he like element band or some garbage? Dude, like, what do I even do? I think I go Mag or Card. Yeah, so Bandit Yujun doing 5 million. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is Ultra Sun and Moon, you gotta be weak to something. Um, this is his rock... No, this might be the Scarf, if the Scarf is the rocker. But I'm gonna ex predict him to predict my... Oh, I'm faster. Okay, I'm faster, I can bob him with this? Oh, he lived. Wow, this is his rocker, so Scarf is the spike, okay. Um, I really wanna sub predicting him to go Zard, but yeah, if he doesn't, then I just... Lose health. Though, yeah, I guess I could've subbed, it would not have changed too much. Uh, he can roost. He can roost here, but like, okay, I lost my Lilith check, but like, <laughs> dude, what do I do versus Zard? Why I can't do anything? I just have to hit Kane in the sun, and yeah, I don't. Honestly, what else is my play? I can cure them with Kartana. 
I can crit him with Kartana. Um, it's my last ditch effort, but he can just go Skarm. He does not have to risk anything, and I lose this game. There's nothing I can do, especially if he has it stacks me here. Um, yeah, he doubles back. He did not have to do that. We go card here on the solar beam, which still hurt. Yeah, nothing I can do. Um, bad matchup in my opinion. I also did not. Not in my opinion, it's a bad matchup. I know I could have played it different. Um, since he brought in on the Gastron, I should have known that he's out. Why? And I should have pivoted into Tornadoes, but I still don't have great answers anyway, so... I have to hope that he stays in and gets crit, but he, he tries to choke, but he does not get crit. I mean, I already Hurricane confused him early, so I cannot, I really cannot complain too much. Um, so yeah, I can pretty much just forfeit. Um, no, no. Uh, I will keep playing. So we toxic the incoming Tapu Koko. Brave Bird might just kill me because I'm spadef. But yeah, whenever he comes back in with Zard, he just wins. My last hope is that he does not have speed EVs and my Boodoo outspeeds him. But I'm pretty sure even if he's like slow Zard, he's still faster. And there's nothing I can do. Now I have to go hard into Boodoo and hope that he somehow outspeeds it. And then he just has a scum in the back. So he obviously could have maybe done some things different, but like not really. Like I could have obviously played different and made it closer. But I don't think I could have won the game. Um, when you B watches this, he's probably like, "Yeah, you could have done that and that and that." Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I know I misplayed a bit, but like, I still don't think I could have won this. Uh, if I could have, whatever. That's how it goes. I guess I'm bad. Uh, Solar beam is gonna take me out. GG, my guy. Uh, I got no problem keeping a loss in the video, though. That was the second loss to Zadby already with the team. <laughs> oh, what is this, dude? I'm not. I, I'm low on ladder, but I'm not super low. Like I. I think I'm 22 and 1 or something on this account. Okay, 22 and 2 because I lost to two Zard ones, yeah. Um, so he has Buzzwall, which is like the one counter to Bulu. <laughs> um, that's a bit annoying. But yeah, Torn is like usually my lead of choice. And I can just fire a Hurricane. Oh yeah, when you skip turns, the sprites don't always show. That is so much. I'm really lucky and bad. My bad, dude. My bad. Uh, hitting every Hurricane, getting the confusion. Uh, but they're like Alan, they're like trying to make up for last game <laughs> where I got destroyed. Hope the audio's fine. Still having audio issues every now and then when I try to record. Uh, I haven't uploaded in a fat minute. I know I already did. I already said it. I did right. Do I taunt? I taunt him because he's probably Sash or some garbage. Fire spin Volcarona. Who is this? Okay, I should not have done that. I should have U turned. <laughs> no. Okay, let's. Let's hit. Oh my god, <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's fine. I already hexed this Drapion down. So that we. No, we subbing to go for misses. Like, what is this? The thing is, if I. God, what is this? Stop fishing, dude. <laughs> this is disgusting. Now he got me into range of like Z move or whatever. Oh no! Okay, phew. I thought he would live a crunch, but this, I forgot this is max attack Tita. It is, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, not max attack, but like a lot of attack. Um, I didn't really like ask or check what all the EVs are for, but this one destroys me after I lost my Torn. I should have U turned. I did not use my brain. I was just. I see a Volcarona, I panic. I just click Hurricane. <laughs> this Buzzwell is gonna destroy. I have nothing for the Buzzwell, like literally nothing. And Brojo is gonna make fun of me because I lost to a Buzzwell in, in another video like a year ago. Rather a year ago, I think so. What I can do is pivot into Magnezone on what is not a fighting move, hope he's not substitute, and then Cox could crash him and hopefully he stays in on that. Um, but if he subs, he gets a kill. Okay, he goes to Volcanion, which gives me Gastrodon, hopefully no Toxic on the Volcanion. Doubles to Gliscor, we will click Ice Beam, flings me a Toxic Orb. Okay, why? Okay. Could we get rid of that, which is good, but now if we sub Buzzwell, I think I just lose to him. Holy wrath. Is he belly drum? Z belly drum? Z? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, this guy is like knows how to like use creative sets, but I have no idea what. Uh, I need this kind of for the volcano, but on the other side, I'm toxic. Um, so, what's my play, dude? I think I sack my T tar and then I. Oh, he's. <laughs> That's good though that I sack my Tita. Um Does Polyrest get Drain Punch? <laughs> mm. 
Because if you get the Drain Punch, that would be annoying. But like, not. The but yeah, Psychic Torn was a huge mistake in this match. Attempt to get Rocks up. Wake up, slap. Um, Scarf Katana outspeeds. I'm pretty sure. Um, his play is going hard. Buzzwall. His play is going hard. Buzzwall. We will Smart Strike, which is the best move I have to hit Buzzwall. But yeah, he just stays in, which I guess was a fine play for him. Uh, maybe I should have Leaf Blade. Eh, it's fine. I just don't know. How do I not lose to Buzzle after I sack my mom? Uh, we get to Toxic something here, which is amazing for us. The question is, do we Toxic again? I think we go into our Magnezone here. Uh, he's playing as if he's locked into Will-O-Wisp. And... We'll go back to Scout if he's locked in. Oh, we what the f- <laughs> Oh my god, I got destroyed. We will Toxic anticipating him to go Buzzball. I know he can just stay in, but I feel like he's eventually gonna fear me going for the ground move and switch out into Buzzball. Does not do it that turn. Okay. This dude does not give, not give a fuck. Um, okay, let's off power then. If he goes Buzzball here, congratulations, you outplayed me. Sleep talk. Will o Wisp. What the fuck is that? So he's gonna rest here. Um, I think Magnezone's the play anyway, because I should be able to outspeed the buzz ball, right? If he stays in, he's gonna rest, which uh, lets me t bolt him. If he goes buzz ball, he gets destroyed. Oh, what? Is that a soul vest? Is that some soul vest shit? So we corks could crash, which should do like 60 ish. 48, okay, that's at 5. And he drain punches a lot of health back. Good god. Good god, I played it like shit. <laughs> Do I just lose to Buzzwall? <laughs> no, 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 not like this. I think Woodhammer does the most, so... This should do like 20, 30. Oh, that did so much! Oh, I will never doubt you again, Bulu Goatmon. Oh, Goatmon, oh, Goatmon, Bulu. <laughs> I played this so bad, I feel. Oh my god. Well, can you live, dude? I'm surprised that I lived that. Um, now we click... Um, I think Leaf Bed and Terrain should be able to do it. I hope so, at least. <laughs> And that Buzzball dies to plus one Leaf Blade in Terrain. I'm not sure if it does. Cool. So we will have one last game. Okay, the music is still playing for you. I was not sure if the music was still playing. Um, Marowak plus Mega Marvel, which is not fun. Um, leading zone here because Marvel is just such a big threat. Um, Steel Z sub zone is amazing for Marvel because if you're in range of Sucker Punch, they will try to kill you with Sucker Punch. You can bob them. He might be Fight Z though. Kinda have to scout for that. Um Though like he's just gonna U-turn here. Oh he's gonna in case he has a fighting move I can't stay in, but like Oh no, this is a team that AIM used and wrote to top ten. Let me look up its sets. Okay, the Marvel has Fire Fang. Low kick Oh low kick Marowak, so much for T Tuck and Trap. I mean I don't have pursuit anyway. Damn yeah, it is fight Z Torn, so I was right, but he just didn't go for it. Um, but yeah, I assume he's just gonna like fire thing because it hits my steel types. Does this have player off? It does have player off, so he might just player off. But I'm gonna try to predict a fire thing. No, no, okay, dude, why? <laughs> I guess player off was free, but like, yeah, player off was free, but like, I don't know. Okay, so this is really bad because I just lost my Ash Greninja check I still have another one but like good god this is bad I can taunt the Chris uh, does not have mental herb god this is so bad how did he know I don't know why I went gas as if it's a switching but like what am I gonna do versus this so we can now trap it and go for steel Z um, which is exactly what I needed to happen this Marvel is such a big threat, like, good god, phew, we get rid of it. Now he gets to bring Marowak out and I might just sack my Gastron because I don't have a switch in for Marowak's broken one. I wanted to say Marowak's broken ass and I just, like, said it wrong. He is adamant, low kick, shadow bone, rocks, flare blitz, huh. So, he's gonna, why did he not go Marowak? Marowak was so free right there, but instead he goes for the fight Z. Uh, which is really obvious that he has it. Um, and yeah, I scouted for a turn one without knowing the team, but then I looked it up and he was that set. Mm. 
What do I go to here is my question. I think... I just go Magnazone here in case he hurricanes. I go back into Tornadoes. He still doesn't know if I have knockoff. I guess it's kind of obvious that I don't have it. If I had knockoff for the Merrick, that would be so heater. So we get to Hurricane ourselves here as he gets chipped. Though that doesn't matter because Regenerator brings him right back to full anyway. Um, yeah, I'm still annoyed about the Zart match. But it's whatever. Uh, I cannot really do much. I think I have... Oh, I, wanted, I could have U-turned there. Oh my god. I could have U-turned there. I really want to go hard into Titar. But I think I have to go Bulu. He does not have Ice Beam. And we get to click Stone Edge here, which kills Marowak and Tornadus. So as long as we hit, please hit. Yes, we get rid of the Torn Bandit Bull doing something, because I want to put this boy in a thumbnail, right? And he already did something last match. Marowak is not faster than me, and Marowak dies to Stone Edge. So I'm not really sure what this guy is doing. Um, he's just going off a dodge right here, unless he's going to switch out. Stone Edge does 102 minimum. So, can we hit the Stone Edge? Yeah! <laughs> Ooh! Bulu going for the thumbnail. Let's let's get it, boys. Um, let's, let me check if the music is still playing. Oh, my bad, guys. I forgot to unpause the music when I... <laughs> when I pause the recording, I also pause the music. Okay, so he's SD and he forfeits. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I know I probably could have played this out one match better, but it happens. Uh, it's a rough matchup. Check out the team in the description. Thanks to my man Ultra Balls. And anything else? Oh, yeah, he has a Grottle Fun team that I might record with as well. Um, yeah, like I said, hopefully, Smogon Snake Draft coverage live this week. Um, a lot of old Smogon Snake Draft matches still coming. Um, some guest uploads gonna be coming, but I don't wanna promise too much. I just haven't been feeling months, so that's why the uploads have been down and also had, had some internet issues last week. And I'm also like a. Um, yeah, like. I kind of got addicted, I guess, to shows, so I've just been binge-watching, is that how you say it? Some shows? Um, anything else to say? I wish you guys a fantastic day, nice bad outro. And... Yeah, show that support, smash that like button if you want to see more show on lives. Um, otherwise, we will be going back to more um, tournament coverage. Um, I can tell you for ulti, there's going to be coming in the next days, Eternal Spirits uh, games. Eternal Spirits run, um, I think one of the games was versus, uh, one was versus ABR, one was versus, um, what's the Spanish, Malekith, yeah, the Spanish player called. So that's going to be fun for you guys, I think. Most of those sets were cool to watch. Some of them were ass, but most were fun to watch. Um, and that's pretty much it. Ah, uh, nice. I'm so good at messing up my outros. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>